Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Eruthil, and this is our new and updated tier list. This is a tier list for mid to end game. So basically, what what I'm saying is it is for max potential. Uh, oh, this is actually updated as of the last uh, group of uh, characters that uh, we received. So as evidence, we have Tony here in tier C. Really, really really bad kit um anyway we'll start off with tier c so hope this um generally applies to pvp and pve at this point so this is a general tier list i might separate this eventually but at this point uh we're gonna just have um one single tier list here just uh want to update this into april so every month for all of uh, <clears throat> the new characters that um are arriving to the game i will be updating this tier list so that you would you know um know how to gauge um all of your characters max potential so we're basing now in the mid game and in the end game so starting off with tier c so i don't have to discuss this further mobile is here ume is here um tony iserni iserni uh, i hope i pronounced her name right <clears throat> all of them um do not use probably use them for fun but again the, their kit is not really it's not really for long term i don't recommend ex you know spending any um any resources on them please don't so again tier c the bottom of of this tier then we're off to tier b so tier b here um this is uh the, the, the uh, it's more or the same as the last tier list i'll just specify some of the characters here that i think have potential of going to tier a depending on how you use them so at this point, um, we have Armand. Armand, I think, has potential. Uh, he could be B plus, not really A. Um, if you don't have any, you know, any uh, tanks um, available, or if you only have one SSR tank, Armand is actually viable as long as you take her minimum to at least three star. I think so. Again, uh, Arman could be B plus uh, at this point. Uh, really decent tank, but again, there are a lot of competitions for tanks at this point that um, Arman remains to be at B. Hathor as well is one of um, I think you should consider. Um, she was with uh, Sirius Let's Banner, so also probably around B plus. Not really A tier. The B plus, uh, she can be B plus. Um, she's she has a decent build, um, but not really again towards your you know could bring further, but decent enough that you can have her on your third team for PvP. Also for Armand, by the way, you can have her there. You know, most of you guys would be able to build them anyway because you'll need them in team PvP. And the last one is Follett as well. So Follett. Um, also a nice kit to develop um probably up until b plus as well allure here is new one is a new one so allure nice mechanic very simple mechanic uh but not really i would recommend her for tier you know tier a she'll remain with tier b so those are your tier b if you guys have any questions specific to the you know to the characters or heroes here okay so sorry i forgot to mention black black um can be tier b plus as well although black's kit is uh, very very simple as well for sr uh but again black can be around b plus b plus i could give him a b plus um queen not as much but black yes Okay, so that is it for tier B. Now off to tier A. This is the tier that you want really to develop along with your tier S. So I'll start off with Roko here. 
So Roku uh, definitely will be your, you know, uh, top two or in, as your second healer in your second team. You can use her in PvP teams. Uh, you could use her to substitute for Nuno if you don't have Nuno. Media, however, <clears throat> I she she's good in the in, in in the beginning game, but again, if you rely on her for DPS, I don't think she'll be good. She'll be reliant so much on her two skills and ultimate. So she's there at tier, tier A. Next is Fen. Um, <clears throat> again, Fen was good. At the beginning, probably could give you a very good head start, especially if you got her for a dollar. <clears throat> but for a ranger, definitely you're going more in a different direction. We'll just discuss that later. But again, she's very decent. She she's very reliable. That that is what what I'll say with her. Then you have Mo Motesju. Um, it, she's going to be your top ranger for for animal but again um she will be stuck with tier a next up is creamer one of a few srs that uh, is actually very good to level up even to go beyond level 70 so screamer good with attack speed good with heals can be very great in in team pvp as well so you might as well um level her up next up is live um i've been a big fan of live recently i've been um trying her out with uh, who's the name with Cheru <coughs> for a hydro team and i think it works i think it works um so far i like how she controls um the board um damage decent um heals I think if you have more copies of her, she would be better. But at three stars, she's already, you know, I, I consider her at tier A. So we have Kier. Uh, she is, I think, animal tank. So again, if you don't have any other options for tier S, Kier is actually a very, very nice and decent tank. So both uh, Kier and Arman can be your, you know, your primary uh tanks if you don't have the top tier guardians in the game so next is siamcom siamcom um if we're talking about end game or if you're talking about max potential then therefore he should be in the conversation for tier a um really hard to use in the earlier stages if if very if he's very under un, underdeveloped so but if at max potential definitely gonna be very very good at tier a next we have basil um basil is more of a control hoplite not so much with dps but uh, very good for crowd control um very good at dragging people towards him especially at the back then last in tier a it's going to be icicle icicle um, not your typical assassin, not so much damage, but again for control, for you know, for encroaching cold and freeze, definitely, definitely a must-have. Um, uh, I want to eventually take her more than level 70 and probably have her at six star. I'm actually enjoying how she is played, how she disrupts the backline, especially if he, she dashes. At the back line so that is it for your tier a and the last tier would be tier s we have here eluya of course um again eluya at max potential um specifically with life steal and with the right play she's she's indestructible i've seen a demo for the last stage of story um, wherein she demolished the dragon without any guardian. That was actually very insightful. Really, really can do a lot of DPS and also survive if you build her enough with lifesteal. I have her right now at... Uh, I think she, uh, at this point, I have her at 15% lifesteal or maybe below the 15%. 
But again, if you increase her 15%, then definitely she although she has a is life steal in her in her ultimate, but if you add more life steal percentage to her kit, definitely she will be there for the end game. Next is um Caesar. Caesar um this game is actually, I just want to comment on the Guardians that we have. This game is dominated by Guardians. If you don't have a good Guardian, then definitely your backline won't have, you know, can't shine as much. Um, Guardians come in different shapes and sizes. So for, for Caesar, her specialty would be heals, sharing of damage, uh, very all around, if I may say. Um, has a nice, you know, nice support system in terms of um, what do you call this? In terms of her team. Uh, next up is Gildan, another guardian, which I think is for me up until now is is the most is 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 the toughest one, the hardest one to crack, and is the most versatile of the three in here. So I have Cheryl uh, there in tier S. I'll talk uh, about her later. But again, for Gildan, very versatile. I've uh, been using her even at three stars. She's very, very versatile. I don't mind having copies of her eventually. Hopefully we could have a rerun of her banner. But again, Gildan is really, really versatile top. Um, if you could splash anybody in any team, it would be Gildan, of course. Next up is our top healer in this game, Nuno. Um, her heal rate is actually off the charts. Um, and her heal amount is also off the charts. So her heal all is definitely one of the best skill in this game. Although she would shine more in an animal team but can she can really be splashed with any other team um she doesn't have to be with an animal team so it's uh, gildan so is caesar and so is iluya i don't think they have uh, to be in a specialized team next up is rita so rita my girl um she what how can i say this if you build her well crit rate wise she deals tons of damage, especially that her crit damage is fixed at 150. Um, if you build her, I, I have her right now at 34% crit rate. If I could roll more for more crit rate, the better. <clears throat> eventually, if I could have her at 50, eventually, the better. But at 34, that's one out of three um, shots. So... To to to, no, to create crit damage, so <clears throat> massive damage, even for you know, especially for tanks, especially for bosses, very very massive damage. I like the way how she pushes <clears throat> away enemies right in front of her, especially when I see Iluya um, going towards her or in front of her to attack her. She can push Iluya away so that. You know, um, pesky assassins won't you know won't, won't go towards her. Also, the buff for AD characters is actually nice. So she's all around. She's one of she's actually one of the one of her best uh, large damage dealers in this game. And yet she is also a support unit. Okay, so next up is Sirslet here. Top DPS in the game. What can I say? Um, burst damage. Tremendous burst damage. Um, that's it. So again, all of them can be splashed in any team, guys. Um, they don't have to be in a specific team. So they can, they are splashable, meaning they can be put in any team, not necessarily a theme of a team in terms of element. So um, again, we are, you know, um, I like Search It for that because she does complement a lot of teams or team builds <clears throat> and our last guys i'm sorry for that is going to be shiru okay the newest edition just want to talk about shiru okay um just want to say this finally um i was able to test her with uh, dorothy okay just want to put this out 
Um, just want to say that I was wrong. Um, Dorothy is actually very good for her. It turns her into a solid tank, but she's more like more like of an ice wall, <clears throat> if you know what I'm saying. So all she does is tank for you, not not so much with the other things, encroaching cold to the enemies. But again, her weakness uh, um, when she tanks for you. Probably that's her strength and her weakness as well. Again, um, I am actually still um, waiting for the dev's answer on on crowd control. What skills are included in crowd control? Because again, there's the other play that I mentioned. I forgot what the name is, but <clears throat> it has the picture of um, Basil in it. So that play is... Um, is uh, for example, if she puts encroaching gold in an enemy, um, there's an increased damage uh, towards that enemy. So um, right now, <clears throat> there are a couple of discussions on if encroaching gold is really a crowd control or not. Well, I'm still waiting for the devs answer for that one. But I agree, Dorothy is is good for her. But I might I I will say that it's not the only you know it's not the only play for her. She, if if you use Dorothy on her, <clears throat> she becomes one-dimensional. If you put the other place with her that I <clears throat> that I mentioned in the in the in the in the build guide, she becomes all around. She becomes useful in other aspects aside from just healing herself. So I get that I, I get the appeal of her being survivable, but sometimes that is all she does if you use Dorothy with her. Yes, Dorothy will really, will really make her very, very tough to kill. But again, she doesn't really deal much damage, uh, even without Dorothy. And then you put Dorothy, and again, if you put the other place that I recommended in that build guide, build guide, um, the one also with, uh, um, with damage reduction. I forgot the name. I think it's uh, Shu Xuan. I forgot what it is, but. Again, um, you, you get my drift, guys. If you stick with Dorothy as your play for, you know, for Sheru, definitely she'll be very hard to kill, but she becomes so one-dimensional. If you put the other plays um, in her kit, definitely she'll be, use, she'll be helpful in other aspects as well. So, again, um, it's really up to you, but I'm not really sold on using Dorothy um, solely. For Sheru, I will have to test out the other plays if I get them eventually. So probably more updates. But again, um, just wanna you know confirm this. Dorothy is good, but again, do not do not just stay with Dorothy as your play for Sheru. You can actually max out her potential with other plays that I mentioned in the guide. So more tests to come. So that is it, guys. So far. So far, this is your tier list for April. Hopefully, we have new things to come for May. And I'll see you guys around. Uh, also, comment down in the comment section. What do you think about this tier list? And also, I'll be putting a link to this tier list in the description of this video so that you could have a quick reference. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.